Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to cook a steak in the air fryer. Now millions of you have already seen our recipe on how to grill the perfect steak and how to cook the perfect steak. But something strange is happening. We've learned that hundreds of thousands of people are cooking steaks in the air fryer. So as a certified steak judge and a lover of all things meat, I thought I would take the time to teach you guys how to make the best steak possible in the air fryer. To start, let's talk steaks. Today I'm using a bone-in ribeye. But some other great options of steak are sirloin, New York cut, T-bone, or even a flat iron steak. Any one will give you a great juicy steak, but whatever you choose, make sure it's at least one inch thick. And choose the best grade that you can find. Then grab a small bowl and mix together one teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix up the seasonings and season up those steaks. Make sure that every side gets some of that seasoning. We're gonna set these steaks on a cooling rack and let them come to room temp for about an hour and a half to two hours. While you wait for those steaks to reach room temperature, you can do anything you like, like watch The Bachelor, like and subscribe, solve world hunger. But I like to take a little bit of this time to create an amazing compound butter that will take these steaks to the next level. To make that butter, we're gonna grab a medium bowl and plop in four tablespoons of softened salted butter. One teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of parsley, a half a teaspoon of minced rosemary, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Then mix this together until it's well incorporated. Now that our steaks are at room temperature, and preheat your air fryer to 390 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then use a paper towel and dab off any extra moisture that's on the surface of those steaks because that's going to help ensure that we get a little bit of a crust when we cook these steaks in the air fryer. Place those steaks in that air fryer, making sure there's room in between each one. Based on the air fryer that you have, make sure there's plenty of space around those steaks and don't overcrowd them. Now that our steak has cooked for six minutes, we're gonna flip it over and cook it for another six minutes. And I say about five to six minutes because every steak is gonna cook differently. The best way to cook a steak is how you like it, and you're gonna know that by using a meat thermometer. Another great tip is to head over to our website, check out this recipe, and you'll see the steak doneness chart. Once your steak is done cooking, go ahead and remove that from that air fryer basket. Now we need to let that rest for about 10 minutes. While that steak rests, it'll actually continue to cook a little bit, but we are gonna smother it in that delicious compound butter. Then once that steak is done resting, you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.